The Lucy Show. Starring Lucille Ball. Co-starring Vivian Vance. After all, I'm not getting any younger. I'm not getting any older, either. <laughs> I'm in a nice, comfortable rut. Oh, you don't know anything about the stock market. I don't have to know anything about it. I'll go see a stockbroker. He'll advise me. Hey! What? What about my breakfast? Vivian, I can't waste my time getting breakfast, for heaven's sake. I gotta go buy some stock. The market may be going up right now. Who knows, someday maybe my $38 will be worth $38,000. Or 38 cents. <laughs> hey, that kind of thinking is why I own this house and you pay me rent. <laughs> Clean up the eggs, girl. Uh, this is Carmichael? Oh, yes. Oh, won't you please come in? Thank you. Very nice to meet you. Thank you. Uh, won't you be seated over there, please? All right, now then. What can I do for you? Well, um, I just came into some money, and I want to invest it. A very smart <laughs> I know, I know. Uh, my friend Mrs. Bagley said that I should put it into a savings account. But I want to put the entire amount in stock. The entire amount? <laughs> yes, sir. Every cent of it. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, well, excuse me, Mrs. Carmichael. Yes. Uh, Miss Rose? Yes, Mr. Phillips? I don't want to be disturbed. Hold all phone calls and tell Mrs. Stevens I'll have to break that appointment. I have a very important client. Yes, sir. Well, then, Mrs. Carmichael, tell me, um, what kind of stocks did you have in mind? Well, I really know very little about uh, the stock market, but, well, that's why I came to you for advice. Well, that's what I'm here for. <laughs> However, there are different investments and different goals for every investor. Oh, naturally. And uh, just what is your goal? I want to get rich. <laughs> Uh, that's understandable. But of course you realize you, uh, you won't get rich overnight. Oh, I don't expect to. I can wait a day or two. <laughs> <laughs> Are you all right, Mr. Phillips? Well, I'm not quite sure, Miss Carmichael. <laughs> um, uh, let, let's get, get serious for a moment, shall we, Mrs. Carmichael? Now, in order to get a maximum amount of security yes. with a minimum of risk, I would suggest that you diversify. Oh, that sounds wonderful. 
just wonderful. What does it mean? <laughs> uh, it, uh, it means that you don't invest all of your money in one company. You buy different things, like railroads or automobile companies or electronics. Oh, fine, fine. I'll take a railroad, an automobile company, and electronics. <laughs> all three? Why not? Oh, well, that'll make an excellent portfolio. <laughs> oh, that, that reminds me. Uh, Miss Rose? Yes, Mr. Phillips? I want you to order a special briefcase for Mrs. Carmichael in which uh, she can keep her stock information. Uh, the embossed leather type with her name imprinted on it. Oh. Uh, what's your first name? Lucy. Lucy? That's very nice. <laughs> <laughs> her name is Lucy Carmichael. Oh, and I want that in gold lettering. Gold lettering? Oh, in that case, perhaps you should put Lucille. Oh, uh, would you, uh, Miss Rose, would you make that Lucille? Yes, with three L's. <laughs> Three L? Yes, one at the beginning and two near the end. <laughs> Did you hear that, Miss Rose? Yes, sir. Three L. Three L. Then now, let's see, Miss Carmichael, how many shares of each company would you like? Well, as many as I can get. Well, uh, just how much do you have to invest? $38.23. <laughs> <laughs> Dollars and 23 cents. Yes, sir, and I am willing to invest every cent of it. <laughs> Are you sure you feel all right, Mr. Phillips? Oh, fine. I haven't felt this way since 1929. <laughs> Maybe something was wrong with you. Oh, no, no. Um, I tell you what, Mrs. Carmichael, I think the best thing for you to do is to buy a share or two of some good conservative stock, uh, like a bank. Oh. Perhaps the very bank with which you do business. You mean I could own stock in Mr. Mooney's bank? Yes, your stock would make you part owner in this Mr. Mooney's bank. A part owner? Oh, well, it's the Danfield Bank. Yes, sir. Uh, Danfield. Dan oh, here, yes, Danfield. Here it is. Yes, it's selling for $32 a share. Buy me a share immediately. Yes. <laughs> well, now that I'm part owner of the bank, I'll be able to tell Mr. Mooney a thing or two. <laughs> you know, Mr. Phillips, you may not believe this, but I have always had difficulty with this Mr. Mooney. Oh, I believe it. <laughs> All right, Mrs. Carmichael, here's your receipt. You can pay the cashier outside. Thank you. You're I welcome. think I shall go directly over to the bank. You know, I haven't been too happy with the way Mr. Mooney has been handling things lately. <laughs> Good day, Mr. Phillips. Uh, goodbye, Mrs. Carmichael. <laughs> Mr. Williams, we can certainly use that. Keep up the good work, my man. <laughs> can I help you, Mrs. Valance? Oh, no, thank you. I'm just making out this withdrawal slip. A withdrawal slip? You mean you're taking money out? Oh, you shouldn't do that. You'll only spend it and you'll hate yourself in the morning. Now, if you need money, you just go to a finance company. <laughs> Well, Mr. Summers, that's a big, fat deposit. If I ever get to the head of this line. Yeah, well, now don't you worry about that. Just step right over here. Would you take care of Mr. Summers immediately, please? You shouldn't do this, Mrs. Carmichael. Well, of course I should do that. I happen to be one of the new owners of the bank. <laughs> You're an owner of this bank? That's right. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I guess he was anxious to spread the good news. <laughs> Stick him! <up. laughs> well, it's you, Mrs. Carmichael. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to teach you a lesson, George. 
Anyone could walk in here and rob this bank. Do you know that? You're gonna have to be a little quick around the draw. I got a nine-year-old nephew that could outdraw you. Now, you better stay home nights and practice your quick draw. If you want to keep your job. <laughs> Please. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, I beg your pardon, madam. I'm. Oh, it's you. It's eleven thirty. Where have you been? Well, as a matter of fact, I was in the boardroom. I was tallying up something. What concern is it of yours? Well, now that's not a very nice way to treat your business associate. Now look, I don't have any time. My. Business associate? That's right. Mr. Mooney, you'll be happy to know that I have bought stock in your bank, and I am now your partner. What do you think of that? I think I'll kill myself. <laughs> you're kidding, Mrs. Carmichael. Please tell me you're kidding. No, I am not kidding. The government gave me a big refund on my income tax, and I put it all in your bank stock. Why would my own government do this to me? <laughs> what? <Well>, Lyndon. <laughs> part owner of the bank, I want you to rest assured that I am going to do everything I can to help you. You really know how to hurt a guy, don't you? <laughs> you don't like me. That is a masterpiece of understatement. Now, Mr. Carmichael, I'm very busy. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to anybody. Danfield Bank, Mrs. Carmichael, stockholder speaking. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, Mr. Mooney doesn't want to talk to anybody. You... Why did you do that? You said you didn't want to talk to anybody. I, I, who was it? Oh, somebody named Bainbridge. Bainbridge? Well, he's the chairman of the board. I've got to get it back. Well, what number it is? I'll... Get your cotton-picking fingers off that telephone! <laughs> Will you do me a favor? Get out! Well, I know when I'm not wanted. <laughs> Where have you been? I came just as soon as you called. Lucy, did you really buy stock in this bank? Yes. What's the matter with you? Oh, it's Mr. Mooney. Even though I'm a stockholder, he won't let me help him. Oh, he's just like my ex-husband. All men are like that. They don't think women can do anything. No, they want all the credit. We have the babies, they pass out the cigars. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm not gonna give up this easily. As a stockholder, I have an investment to protect. Come on. Y y yes, Mr. Bainbridge. I know that Dr. Kurtzman represents a million-dollar research foundation. Well, I've tried to talk to him about opening an account, but he's a very difficult man to see. As a matter of fact, he's quite peculiar. Yeah, well, what, oh, yeah. Oh, I think of something, sir. Yes, sir. You, yeah. Oh, yeah. Goodbye. Oh. Mr. Mooney. Oh. Oh, it's you two. The Lady Wolf of Wall Street <laughs> and Typhoid Mary. <laughs> Mr. Mooney, could I go and see Dr. Kurtzman? Perhaps I could get his account. You? It would take someone better than you are. Dr. Kurtzman is no ordinary person. He's eccentric, very peculiar, strange, rather weird. Good heavens, you're just the one to see him. <laughs> oh, you have so much in common. <laughs> Can I go? Yes, yes. Oh, yes. good. But okay. don't do anything to antagonize the doctor. No matter how eccentric he seems, you be agreeable. Yes, sir. All right, yes, after sir. the bank closes, I'll come along. All right. Yes, to finalize the deal, I hope. Okay, don't you worry about a thing, Mr. Mooney. No. Hello? This is Dr. Oscar Kurtzman's secretary. Uh, we were wondering when... Oh, they're on their way over? Thank you very much. Oh, doctor. Yes, yes, yes. I just talked with the university. The volunteers for your experiment are on their way over. Good, good, good. Today is the day of the great experiment. Doctor, just what form is this experiment going to take? 
You seem very interested in what I'm doing here. Doctor, I work for you. Don't come to me with your problems! <laughs> Doctor, I must know what the experiment is about if I am going to assist you with it. Very well. We will be utilizing techniques that are called in the common primitive English word, hypnosis. Oh! Now, oh, that must be the volunteers. Go quickly, Miss Thompson, get them in. Yes. Send them in quickly, schnell, schnell. <laughs> Right this way. Hello. How do you do, ladies? How do you do? Hello. I am Dr. Kurtzman. How do you do? And you must be the volunteers, yes? Well, uh, yes, you could say that. Good. But wasn't there supposed to be also a man? Well, uh, I, I believe there'll be a man over later. Good. Miss Thompson, yes. close, quickly, please. The drapes, the blinds, everything. I lock the door. So. In this way, we keep out the outside distractions while you are being hypnotized. Ah. <laughs> and now, ladies, you will please sit here. <laughs> now, you will watch this. And soon you will fall asleep. <laughs> Don't know, blitz. It certainly works fast. Doesn't it always work that fast? I don't know. I never did it before. <laughs> Fortunately, they sent us two weak minds. <laughs> Let us see that the special room is made ready with everything. So just prepare. Viv? What? <laughs> you were hypnotized, were you? I'll say I wasn't hypnotized. Now I'm going to get out of here, no, Lucille. Viv, now, now listen, we got to pretend to be hypnotized or, or we won't get the account for the bank. Now, please. Oh, I... that will be... <laughs> yes, now, ladies, you are in complete hypnosis. Later, later when I wake you up, you will have been regressed to the age of five. You will not see me or notice me except when I click my clicker. <laughs> <laughs> and you will obey me when I click my clicker. <laughs> now, open your eyes. Stand up. In a little while, you will believe you are children. You will behave as children. You will be children. Now, Miss Thompson, take them out and get them ready. Come this way. <laughs> I will go and get him ready. You stay here and yes, take the note.
I'm pretty. <laughs> My name is Wooshy, and I don't like you. Oh. I take dancing lessons. I can kick over my head. Okay, kick it over here and I'll kick it back. <laughs> what I, I'm gonna show you what I mean. I'm gonna show you. Ah, I'll show you how I mean kick. There! I bet you can't do that. I can too. Let me see you, let me see. Let me see you. I do not want you to fight. I want you to be friends and have fun. I like you. Oh. And now, children, I have a wonderful surprise for you. What's the surprise? Well, I want the surprise. You just wait like and see. Just wait and see. You can come in now. <laughs> Why are you fellas dressed like that? <laughs> Us fellas is girls. <laughs> My name is Wosi. Oh. How old are you? I say uh, five. <laughs> I'm only four. <laughs> she's six if she's a day. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> What's that under your nose? That's a mustache. It is not. Only grown-ups have mustaches. Does your daddy have a mustache? No, my mommy does. That's <laughs> a make-believe mustache. It's weird. It's a make-believe mustache. It's weird. It's make-believe. It's weird. It's He's white. It's weird. <laughs> The next thing we will do Doctor, is... Yes. Doctor, something terrible has happened. Terrible? What is lost? What? You'd better come and see for yourself. All right, I come. Now, you children stay like so. I will come directly back. <laughs> oh, boy. It's lucky we were good at playing statues when we were kids. I'll say. I almost died when he came in on Mr. Bowie. Uh, you were very funny when you came hey, through the door. Hey, everything's going swell, don't you I'll think? I'll say it is. You and could fool anybody, I'll Mr. Mooney. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Mooney? Mr. Mooney? My goodness! He's really hypnotized. He's stiffer than Dean Martin. <laughs> How can you do such a mistake? How is this possible? I, I, I want to ask you, it's forced, Ma. Now, I have to do once again the whole experiment. All right, you go back with the others. I will finish up here. Yes, Doctor. Now, children, listen to me carefully. When I click my clicker, you will become once again adults and forget all that has happened here. Oh. <laughs> what in the world are you doing in those outrageous costumes? Look who's talking, little Lord Fauntleroy. <laughs> oh, good heavens. What, what is the meaning of this? Sir, you, sir, <laughs> sir, please, please, all of you, uh, understand, I mistook you for volunteers for my experiment. Well, I happen to be the president of the Danfield Bank. Well, you look more like the president of a piggy bank. <laughs> Mrs. Bagley, please. Now, Doctor, I came over here to talk to you about doing business with my bank, and you've made me look like a fool. Mr. Money. My lawyer will call on you. I will sue you for every penny. Sir, you sir, Mr. I Money, like Mr. Money, I, I beg of you, sir, to make amends. I will do all of my banking business with you. I give you my word. I'll take it. Oh, thank you, oh, that's sir. Very good. Oh, they sure settled yeah. that case out of court, huh? <laughs> oh, well, thank you, and you are all so kind and understanding. Thank you. Goodbye. Uh, and so the experiment goes on. We did it! We, we did, did it! it. We, got we got it! You, got it. Got, it. you, got you got. certainly did. And to show my appreciation for your help, I'm going to see that you get a fitting reward. Oh, what, what are we, we going to get? get? What are we, we going to get? I am going to buy us all ice cream cones. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have ice cream. Oh, here we go to the ice cream store. The ice cream store. The ice cream store. Here we go to the ice cream store.
Lucy Show. Starring Lucille Ball. Co-starring Vivian Vance. Sure. 